please do not be sad that ARPA is down. All right, so it is 20 cent, but we're gonna hop straight into my favorite part, which is the use cases. Why is it making waves in the first? All right, so this is the use cases for it. All right, credit anti-fraud in the fintech space. Financial institutions can search shared blacklists or perform joint risk analysis for borrowers without disclosing each party's private information. That's extremely powerful. So watch this, secure risk analytics. Financial calculation agent can run risk analytics on clients' encrypted data. Clients' data is 100% invisible to agents. So what they're talking about is like, let's say you call an insurance company and you need information on a case or something like that. They can give you information on a case without providing a lot of the parts that are supposed to remain private getting prevent lawsuits prevent deaths injuries and all of that extra stuff so here's another use case this is for digital advertising which is something that i do so let me check it out advertisers can display ads to target customers for relevant products based on master massive user behavior tags without breaching user privacy so what they're talking about right now is that um european thing uh gp i forgot whatever it's called at the bottom of the pages and they're talking about when you go to a site and it asks you if you want to accept the cookies and all of that extra stuff okay all right profiling engine secure data matching of identities across multiple industries and organizations for well-rounded user profiles okay so before we move on let me finish this man personal data wallet data wallet users manage all personal sensitive data, define data policy, and conveniently authorize to service providers in encrypted form. So if you wanted to know why this one is a decent crypto, in my opinion, and why it's moving up, this was the favorite part right here. All right, secure monetization. Users can rent out data to advertisers for product preference analysis free of personal data leakage. Okay, so for instance, if I'm on my website, I have my website and click email information, uh, I can collect phone numbers and all of that, but that's all private information of a customer base, right? I'm not supposed to sell that information, right? I can, uh, for, for some reason with their technology, I can share some type of user data with a company that doesn't require me to give them my customers contact information or private information. I could just give them the behavior of the customers and they'll be able to retra uh, retarget them and everything. So that's extremely powerful. I don't know how that works, but then we're gonna go to the investors. All right, so these are some of the investors that they have. GBIC, Arrington, Ca Connect Capital, Genesis, Ledger, uh, LYVC, I, I haven't heard of a lot of these guys, but Bitblock, I heard of them. Okay, so now you can read the white paper. That's going to be super long, but if you're interested in investing into it, I strongly recommend because I do it if I'm going to get into something. So the technology behind ARPA, ARPA, secure multi-party computation allows a set of parties to jointly compute a function over their inputs while keeping them private. The correctness of computation is verifiable, verifiable under uh, majority malicious condition using secret sharing and information theoretic message authentication code. Why does it sound like a robot writes all of this stuff? Okay, we understand it, guys. You're some damn geniuses, but come on. If you want people to invest in your stuff, man, make it in layman's terms. These are the people that invest in this stuff are regular people. Like half of the people didn't even like graduate and stuff. You got all the majority malicious condition, secret sharing, informational, theoretic message, authentic, uh, authentic <laughs> authentication codes and all of that extra. Come on, man, make it, make it readable. Okay, now this is the best part. If you're looking to invest in the cryptocurrency, which I'm not giving you, uh, uh, you know, that, you know, that information, I mean, I'm not giving you that suggestion. All right, the mission right here is important. Efficient, private, smart contract for DApp developers, privacy preserving in individual and enterprise data renting. All right, highly scalable infrastructure via com computational sharding. So they can give you people's data. You can rent their data without having their actual private information, like some almost and stuff. I, I would love to see that demo. Okay, but anyway, the roadmap. All right. So you don't want no little oaks. These people have been here all the way since 2018. That is powerful. So this is the roadmap. And then it takes you to their white paper. 
and then it takes you to test net then it takes you to 2019 so they've been going and then going and going and going and they're not stopping they're not slowing down all the way into 2022 that's what they have so far the pilot program okay so this is a way that you can determine whether or not something is a good investment. You want to do deep research. You want to not follow just this thing over here because this thing follows the road map and the white paper. Okay. This thing right here follows a roadmap and a white paper. So investing in it today might not make you money, but you have to give it a time length of uh, implementation of the roadmap at least. That's how you determine whether or not it's something a good investment. When it gets to the end of the roadmap and the white paper, if it hasn't boosted then, then maybe you should be a little bit worried. But until then, hey, stop whining about it. All right, love you guys. Do a Jet Lee sidekick to the like button.